Kamusta ka? Ako nga pala si Jeline. May gusto lang sana akong malaman. Tumawa ka na ba ngayon? Or kahit smile man lang? Sus! Ayun no, nakita ko yung ngiti mong yan eh. Keep that pretty smile of yours ha. Regardless of what is happening, I still want to see you be genuinely happy. I know all of us have been greatly affected by the pandemic, causing immense stress for people of all ages all around the world. While physical health is a top priority, while we await word on COVID-19 control, we are also worried about job loss, financial difficulties, school closures, and the unknown future brought by the pandemic. The isolation and disruption of daily routines can cause the feeling of irritability. Your emotions shift and you start to feel more stressed and more anxious. There is no easy way to immediately cope with how things are right now. But if we build up resilience, it can help us bounce back from this adversity and improve life as is. Moreover, Building resilience takes a little time and dedication. It's important to remember that stress can weaken your immune system and make you more vulnerable to sickness. This might have a serious effect on your emotional state and as a result, it's critical to remember that maintaining your physical well-being is crucial to developing resilience. Taking care of your mental health and learning coping skills also greatly increase one's resilience during these trying times. As they say, a little bit of self-care goes a long way. Maybe grab yourself a warm cup of tea, have a lovely bubble bath, have a great nap, or order a burger, or two. You should take a time off for yourself to just relax and not focus on stressing matters of life. Another good way of increasing resilience is to build and reconnect with people. During these trying times, social media is one of the greatest assets we have that we can use to connect and reach either the people around us or any people on the face of the earth. The pandemic might have caused lesser physical interactions but that doesn't mean we can't reach people emotionally you could find people you have the same interests with like the same hobbies watch your favorite youtubers and even play games with your friends online according to dr julian holt lansted a psychology professor and researcher at brigham young university Humans are sociable animals by nature. Our ability to fight illnesses, thrive, and survive is dependent on our ability to interact with people. Having a group of people to lean on can make you feel less alone and give you someone to talk to during this trying time. Social connections are the threads that bind our communities together. By prioritizing interactions, we can support each other and our own health and well-being. Now look at me, all smiling and happy. I also want you to be this happy. I want you to do something that makes you happy and spread that happiness. Let's spread positivity and good vibes lang. Focus tayo sa ating kalusugan at kaayusan. Mahalin ang sarili. At mamahalin ka rin ng marami. Bye!